Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for the sign of Aries. So we have the five of cups here. So somebody is, yeah, tell me more. We have death. Ooh, somebody is sad over an ending here. Yeah, somebody is sad over an ending. We have um, Scorpio energy here with the death card. We have King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And we have the three of pentacles. Clarify the five of cups. The two of swords. Somebody is sad over you, okay? Or this is you guys that have been sad over this person. Sad over this breakup, but not sure what to do. Whether you want to keep holding space for them or if you want to open up to new possibilities. Or some of you guys have another option, but you guys have not been choosing to really give them a chance. Because you, you're you still hung up on this person or you've been holding on to some type of slither of hope that, you know, they'll get it together. But say about death. We have the four swords. Yeah, somebody's definitely been healing from some type of ending here. All right. Say about the king of swords. We have the three of wands. So... I'm telling you, it's like this person's about to. Time out the three of pentacles. Taming hunger. Yeah, taming a player trying to resist temptation. Ripped apart. Vulnerable in love. Love exposed the truth. Nine of cups. Empress. Ooh, somebody is literally seeing you as their wish fulfillment. But they betrayed you. Some type of betrayal is what led to an ending or multiple betrayals and you guys got tired. Yeah, you started losing, losing, using your intuition. I feel like for some of you guys, started to you, you decided to focus on your money and move away from the situation or move forward. All right. And some of you guys, you know, yeah, it just trust in divine timing. But it's like something about you guys have literally been still holding space for this person to some degree still waiting on them. Even if you've like, you know, been trying to move on from them. It's just, mm -mm. what's the king of swords and the three of wands? The ten of wands. Okay, what's this have to do with my collective? The queen of swords. What about the queen of swords? The two of pentacles. You guys are in this very decisive energy where it's like you guys are making a decision here. Making the decision to what? This is to do with my collective. Justice. Libra energy. Nine of Pentacles. You guys are getting some type of good karma here. Okay. Waiting. See, I told you. You guys have been waiting for this person to make things right with you. I don't know. I'm telling you, feelings of needed is hopeful they'll return. I'm telling you. Some of you guys have been waiting, being single. Not... And it's like some of you guys are afraid to put yourselves out there again, too, with another person. Or just, you know, to meet somebody else. What is this decision that they're making, though? I feel like some of you guys are making the decision. Yeah, you feel like it's time. You guys are feeling like it's time to heal and it's time to... It's like you're making a choice to move on from this person. I'm telling you. There's a choice made here. You guys, this was scary to you at some point. Hmm. Telling you, it's, it's a very clear message. I channeled this. I didn't even need tarot to tell you what's happening here. You guys have been very indecisive about whether or not you want to, like, start dating another person. Some of you guys have been, like, or, like, even just, you know, get out there and start dating again. Even if you guys were trying to date other people, you were still so much focused on this person or holding space for them that it just, it never flowed the right way with another person. Because you were still subconsciously, consciously, whatever, holding space for this other person. So if you've been wondering why, you know, other situations haven't been working out, like just say you have been trying to date and you just feel like nothing is working out, nothing feels right. You just can't ever like completely go all in with another person. It's because you've still been holding space for this past person. But it's almost like you guys are making the decision that it's time. You've waited long enough for this person to choose you, to take things to the next level with you, to for them to take a leap of faith. It's like you've been waiting for them to decide. To choose you and to want to expand the connection, want to because they're afraid of the unknown. Okay, for some of you, you are you're worried, and you can feel like this is becoming very heavy, right? To hold on to this person and wait on them, I feel like there's something that they possibly need to release as well. It's like you guys have also been waiting for this person to kind of like tell you how they really feel about you, be vulnerable. This is somebody. Tell me about Three of Pentacles and the Taming Hunger. 
the knight of wands yeah you are dealing with somebody that is like has an issue Ooh, definitely you're dealing with somebody that has an issue with temptation when it comes to sex and like they have some type of bad habit where they're always putting you in a third party situation this person's lustful what is the devil though capricorn energy the th i'm telling you this person has a, a, an addiction to having more than one person like third parties yeah you guys have literally been trying to get a player to like do right by you which i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that but it's like what about trying to retaining hunger forbidden what's that have to do with ghosting what's that have to do with my collective unawakened this person just they don't have the same awareness that you have okay like they don't and unfortunately the divine is guiding you to leave this situation behind right now i'm telling you they're telling you to leave this situation behind set your boundaries reject this person for right now because and they're also telling you that this divine connection between you and this person is protected and i feel like once you guys really come to terms with that you won't be afraid to walk away from this person you won't be afraid to reject them you won't be like there's a, a deep-rooted fear again subconscious consciously whatever that you're going to lose this person forever if you really date another person or if you really you move a little too far away from them or you reject them you don't give in to them and spirit is guiding you to leave this behind for right now because you're dealing with a very i do see a lot of success coming in for you um once you decide to do this like things are going to start going better for you but i also feel like it's just this person is yet to awaken it's like this person's going to keep putting you in third party situations because this person is not seeing the 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 divinity of this connection yet they're not they don't get it Anything else that they need to do? Eight of Pentacles, the Chariot, Cancer Energy, the High Priestess. Use your intuition to what? Pisces Energy. Yeah, ripped apart. Vulnerable in love. Love exposed the truth. What does that do with my collective, though? Frozen. Resisting change. See, the, the problem with this person is, guys, is that they, they do know it because they know it in, at a soul. They know in their soul, right? that it's like because this person can't let you go if you guys feel like this person has let you go and you've had a hard time letting them go that's not the case they have a hard time letting you go they are very discontent with with not being with you right but this person what is this three of swords what's this my judgment sexual encounter i'm telling you what's the deal with my collective lessons yeah separation is necessary yeah to complete a cycle to create a new path yeah separation is necessary to create a new path to remain in the darkness or embrace the light yeah king of put it's like there's a masculine energy here who needs to heal and they have been stuck in some very dark they're in some very dark energy or they're, they're in a very dark situation. And it's like they've actually been choosing that. All right. They have had a choice to either stay in the darkness or step into the light with you. But they're not going to be able to step into the light with you until they let go of these, these. They heal. They need to heal. They need to release. What else do they need to know about how this person, how this person feels about them? See, that card keeps coming out. So what is happening here with this person? Are they starting to become undone? Are they starting to be more vulnerable? Ripped apart. Vulnerable in love. Love exposed the truth. Tell me what, tell, elaborate on that for this person, Holy Spirit. We have Ace of Wands. Passion, spark, beginnings, potential. How are we, how is it getting to that point? Seven of Wands. Someone's about to um fight for you. I'm telling you. If you think, I do see you guys getting out there and dating other people. And Spirit says, that's good. You should do that, right? But it's something about when you start setting these boundaries or whatever, you reject this person and you get back out there, you really start opening up to the possibility of being with somebody else and really trying like open to that idea. This person's going to start becoming, feeling very vulnerable, okay? I feel like it's lighting a fire under there, but... Because deep down, this what about King of Cups, the Queen of Swords, Four of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords? 
Where are they in the Nine of Swords? Temperance. Okay, what about Temperance? The Magician. The Ace of Swords. There's going to be a breakthrough here. Yeah, there's a breakthrough because of an of a, a either a rejection or there's a break. This person needs to have an ego death. And what's going to kill this person's ego? The ego death is going to be a breakthrough. But it's something about a choice that you are making. You're making this choice to heal and to make healthier choices for yourself. All right. And it's like, yeah, judgment. Yeah. They're going to want another chance, y'all. I'm telling you, they're going to want to try to, they got to go through this dark night of the soul, though. What a sexual encounter, though. Queen of Pentacles. What about Queen of Pentacles? Wishy. Suffering in silence. This person wants to have a sexual encounter with you. Yeah, they want to sleep with you. That's all. Yeah, give you, yeah, they're not coming in with any emotions here. For what about four of wands? Strength, overcoming obstacles. For some of you, there is a marriage. Somebody's married. Or somebody is in a commitment. Yeah, there is like another like maybe relation. Yep, there's a relationship that needs to be walked away from here. They're going to want to re have a reunion with you after they, they need to cut off a karmic or they need to stop having karmics like these third parties and they need to do the inner work. They're going to walk away from all. They're going to walk away from something here. Walking away, leaving the past behind and seeking deeper meaning. Yeah. Why? Why are they walking away finally or wanting to because of you? I'm telling you the Empress Taurus energy. They're walking away because of you. And they can't stop thinking about you. For some of you, they feel trapped in a situation. What's this have to do with my collective? The night they're moving towards you slowly because there's somebody that they're attached to, guys. I don't know who it is. There's somebody who they feel stuck with right now. Somebody that they have a lot of conflict. Or for some of you, what it is. Give one more card about the five of wands, the eight of swords. The lot, putting your life on hold is going to take a while. Why? Will of fortune, fate, and destiny change in your love life? Ghosting, no closure. What is the eight of swords and the five of wands? The high priestess. What's, what's being hidden here? Ace of pentacles. King of pentacles. The lovers. I don't, it's either, I don't know, guys. There's something about this person feeling like there's competition for you. That's making them come in as the Knight of Pentacles. That's what them coming in with that stable offer. I need more clarity, Spirit. Um, I'm gonna get a few. What is it? Um, let's get a few of these and then I will do a few of those. I'm getting one of one or two one of two things, or it could be both things. Take it how it resonates. It's something about this person being very up in their head about there being competition for you. You getting attention from other people that's kind of lighting a fire under their butt. Or for some of you, they are stuck in a situation. Okay, they are stuck in a situation with another person, or at least they feel like they're stuck there. Yeah, possibly for some of you, it's for money reasons. Like they feel stuck because of financial reasons. Um or it's both things, like I said. So we have, yeah, breaking free. So they are freeing themselves from something, whether it's like literally walking away from a situation or it's a mindset that they're freeing themselves from or walking away from, a way of living. They are freeing themselves from their self-imposed prison. Well, I mean, that card says a self-imposed prison. And leaving behind all that kept them away from you. So it could be one or both things, okay? We have Battle of the Wits. Yeah, this person kind of also feels like, because with the King and the Queen of Swords coming out, this person kind of feels like you're matching their inner energy now. You're matching their level of detachment um, or something like that. Like now you're just as stubborn as them. And so both of you learn, some of you, both of you guys struggle with vulnerability. Until both of you learn to let your guards down and be vulnerable, this love will continue to be a battle. Losing C, losing battle. Some of you guys, 
surrender to the I feel like you guys surrender to the connect see it says you're fighting a losing battle against your opposition don't downgrade yourself play at your level not theirs yeah spirit was saying that you were doing the wrong thing by kind of like settling when it when it came to this person probably just because you love them and you wanted to make things work but that was spirit says that was not the right path music brings them closer to you certain songs remind them of just how special your connection was to them anything else back and forth yeah see that's their indecisiveness right there they're trying to make sense of this connection but their emotions swing back and forth between two extremes yeah this card i saw it on the back of the deck so i definitely feel like there is like something that's going on where they were more focused on money and finances so they could have chosen to stay in a situation or chosen to get into another situation over being with you because they thought they were very focused on the material okay they see how they're focused they like chose money over love okay this person doesn't feel comfortable with love and vulnerability they chose they chose a situation where it was just strictly because of money or material things or they thought they, they could benefit from that situation uh in that way things hasn't made them happy and only holding them back from love why are they realizing this though That's what I don't... see this person cannot stay away from you they cannot say, stop thinking about you they have an insatiable thirst a thirst that no one else but you can satisfy Craving for you more and more. Mm, healing though. They are at the end of a big healing cycle. Coming to peace with their past and bringing back balance and the connection. Yeah, they needed to heal from their childhood or they needed to heal from just like past relationships. Their unhealed childhood wounds prevent them from forming meaningful and long-lasting relationships. Temptation. Dem divine. Yeah, this person's going to be bad, guys. I, you know, I know some of you guys don't want to probably hear that. I mean, this is a twin flame reading though, but... Each day it gets harder and harder to resist what they know in their heart to be true. They see you as their forbidden fruit. Why does this person feel like... How do I say this? Why are they viewing you as the forbidden fruit? Uprooting. Because they, they know that for some of you, they're not even supposed to be dealing with you because... Or they, they feel like you're the forbidden fruit because they know that to be with you, they're going to have to change their entire life. And I feel like that's something that this person has been resisting or not ready to do. So they've been choosing to stay away from you. Although they also, it's like a double-edged sword. Change, they know that being with you means a lot of change and that scares them and they're resisting that. But at the same time, by resisting that, they are resisting wish fulfillment. They, re, they are resisting true love. They're resisting happiness. So, <sighs> they're leaving all that is familiar to them or a long-term relationship. Yeah, for some of you, I'm like I was saying, they're the forbidden fruit because they're cheating on whoever. The, to be with you or if they deal with you right now, that would be cheating on another person. They're leaving that, though, to start a brand new life with you. Yeah, didn't I say you light a, lit a fire under their butt? You set their heart on fire and the soul ever burning and unquenchable. It's a natural and undeniable connection. So you will hear from this person and they will be taking a leap of faith. But not until they go through this dark night of the soul. They did not expect this love to run this deep. They're putting their pride aside and taking that leap of faith. They want to message you and explain everything to you, but they know they have to do right by you. They're experiencing massive upheaval to help them align with new levels of love with themselves and the connection. So what is sending this person into the dark night spirit? Mm, what about lustful desires boundaries i'm telling you it's something about this person it's something about this guys hold on okay i have a few i'm getting a few things here okay so for some of you this person is going to try to act on these lustful desires because we have lustful desires and boundaries so this person is maybe going to try to just come in to sleep with you and you're no longer allowing that right you're going to reject them when they're in this energy for others of you, you're bound. <sighs> when you and this person were dealing with each other and you guys were sleeping together or like had sex, right? So for if you've never slept with your twin, this is probably not your, if you've never been intimate with them, because this is like some, this is sexual energy. So if you've never been with, in that, with them in that way, then this is probably not your reading. There's something about this person. When you take the, the sex out of, or the lust out of the equation, it's making this person realize something here because like 
when you were dealing with this person, you guys were sleeping together. This person was under the impression that it was probably just that. Oh, I, yeah, I like the collective because, you know, we have good sex or the sex is really good between the two of you. But now you're taking that out of the equation because you're no longer letting this person have access to you in that way. And then they're realizing, okay, well, the sex isn't there anymore, but I still feel this intensity. I still feel so drawn to the collective. I still yearn for them. I still feel like I want, I need them in my life, but I just, I can't stop thinking about them. They're starting to realize, okay, this is actually something much deeper than sex and this because this card says there is a difference between love and lust don't let your desire destroy you overcome the spirit of lust yeah they love that you set strong boundaries for yourself and walk away from those who don't respect them including them this person is going to respect you more when you walk away from them than if you keep letting them come in with lust as their only intention at last on the back of the deck they don't want you to give up now when you've come this far because it will all be worth it in the end yeah, they're going to, yeah. See, it's like, I'm so, they're starting to realize that but there's something more between the two of you. All these other karmics or this other karmic, they, they feel like if they're, they know or they're going to be realizing that that was just sexual. But there's something different about you. Their greatest sex memory is with you, but it's more than just sex. It's their memory of feeling so close to you. It's like this person starting to realize that yeah, overflow. Their heart is overflowing with love so much it scares them because their love for you has no end. Yeah, they're aligning to the frequency of love and operating at a high frequency vibration with openness to receiving and then take and then shooting their shot. Yeah. Mm hmm They have stepped into their power and taking action towards you. They will not miss their mark this time. It's something about this person needs to feel the absence of you and kind of like, because you're dealing with a very lust-driven driven person here. They got to feel the absence of the two of you, th that happening between the two of you, for them to really realize that this is something much deeper than just, it's not the same. And honestly, for some of you, they're probably also realizing that if they are connecting with karmics or other people, they're realizing that that's not the same either.